Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Aaron. This is Zar Finance, Episode 9, Hidden Job Perks. Now when we talk about job perks, these are some added features that you might have at your company or your business right now, or if you're looking for a new job, some features that you might want to think about when applying for a new position. Now, in general, you want to think about when does the job perk start? Is it the very first day that you walk in, or is it the very uh, after 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or maybe a year of time and being at that job is when those job perks start to kick in. So something to consider is when does it actually start? When are you, when are you available to these goods? The next thing I would think about is uh, insurance. Will this job have some insurance features for you? Some basic insurance things to consider is health coverage. Will you be covered? Uh, will you have a Will they pay your deductible? Will they pay your co-pays? Will you have a good insurance? You know, if there's say Blue Cross, Blue Shield, etc. Something to consider. Um, another thing that they might want to consider with insurance is maybe dental or vision care insurance. Um, not all companies offer vision. They might cover uh, your basic eye doctor visits, but not cover for contact lenses. But something that they might cover is you know a good eye exam. Dental coverage is important to think about. So when you go to the dentist, you want to have your ch teeth checked out. And you might have to have a little bit of a reduced copay, but it will help to add to the insurance factor at your job or your company that you work for. Some other features that they might have if you're working in a high risk area would be considered like accidental death and uh, disability insurance, AD and D, um, or life insurance. Should you happen to pass away on the job, where does the funds go to help benefit your family or your loved ones? So something to think about is insurance when looking for a, a job or at your job right now. The next thing I would start thinking about is how many days off. A lot of people talk about, oh my gosh, if I work here, how many days am I going to get off? Well, some days that you got to think about, we actually get six days throughout the year as a U.S. holidays. Usually the next time that they offer on top of that is the day after Thanksgiving and I think the day after New Year's is when they actually add uh, so six, seven, eight days uh, in total throughout the year. But in general, do you get two weeks off? Do you have a, a month off? Do you uh, have time off for when you're sick? Maybe your, your wife or girlfriend is pregnant. Do you have maternity leave? Uh, for, that goes for men and for women as well, to some things to consider about. Um, so think about those things and how many times you get off throughout your job. And then when you get off your job, can you return back and continue where you left off? Or do you have a backlog of work that you have to do to catch up on? So something to consider about that. The other thing too is, if you have time off, do you have to really call it a time off? Can you actually work from home? A lot of times with the internet these days, you can take your laptop and work uh, at an another location or travel around and work from your desk or from a laptop and still considering that not a day off but uh, working from home as a benefit. Um, the next thing I would consider is investing options. Does your job offer some investments um, for you? Do they have a 401k, a 457, a Roth IRA plan? Uh, it's basically a way to take your money that you earned as a paycheck and then they take a cut of that and put it for retirement for yourself as an investment. Maybe they offer stock options uh, for the company. So as, you, as they grow, you grow with it. So you're actually feeling more part of the company. So those are some great features to consider when working at a company and investments, investments that they might have. Uh, the other thing to consider too is reimbursements. When I talk about reimbursements, are they paying for your flights? Are they paying for travel time that you might incur, you know, driving to and from work or maybe flying back and forth between different locations? Uh, hotel stays, will they reimburse you for that should you encounter a, a, a night to stay in a hotel? Will they encounter um, maybe car rentals? Um, another added perk too is if your company offers a cell phone or has a cell phone plan, they might offer a discount. This is another thing to consider when offering or looking for job perks is discounts. Is to consider, um, like I said, the cell phone plan. They might offer a reduced rate through different companies. Uh, they might even offer you a free phone because if you have to talk a lot, they might give you a free phone. They might offer free subscriptions to magazines. They might offer health and fitness discounts at your local gym memberships, for example. Um, they might offer you know, parking permits, parking passes. They might offer you free parking in the city. Who knows? So these are some of the features that I would consider added job perks to consider when looking for a job or inquiring about your job. If you don't know where to find these, ask your local HR person and ask them. Or maybe ask your neighbor next to you or ask somebody who's working at your company right now where you might find them. Again, so these are some basic simple ideas for job perks that you might find at your job. My name's Aaron. This is Our Finance. And on next week's episode, we're going to talk to you on how to buy a car. Thanks for joining me. Take care.